Now I've got something exciting I want to show you today. I ordered it a couple of weeks ago and it came today. And that is this new mold by Let's Resin for coasters. It also comes with the coaster tray. But what I'm more excited about is not only the size of these coasters and the fact that they've got a checker pattern too, is these thermochromic powders. Now, that means they change colour when they heat up. And I'm really looking forward to testing these because these aren't overly expensive. And if they give a good result, I think it will make some great fun eye-catching coasters. I'm going to be using the T-Expert tabletop coating resin. As you know, I tested lots of resins out. And this one came out as really excellent, great for protecting against the heat of the cup when you're making coasters. Love it, ideal for that. But always remember, whenever you're making coasters, they should always be left to cure for a minimum of four weeks before you use them because resin does take that long to get completely cured. This one even comes with a little support for this for when you're filling that up. Now the colours I'm going to be using today are purple, which turns to pink, and orange, which turns to yellow, because why wouldn't I? This is fairly easy to go together, and more and more moulds should come with these, I think, because they don't have to make a big difference to the quality of your mould curing. There you go, so you put it together like that, and then you pop that inside it, and then it will keep it in its perfect shape, it's not going to bow out or do anything. And they put the amount of resin that you need on it as well. I have to say, Let's Resin moulds have really, really upped their game in the last year or so. I have no problems in recommending them anymore. Now before I go ahead and pour my resin, what I am going to do is paint some of this or brush some of this onto each one of the moulds because if not, I, I know what I end up doing. I end up pouring the wrong colour in the wrong square and I want to make these really, really quite pretty. So what I'm doing is just brushing that on using one of these little foam brushes so I know which one is going in where. They're all finished now. I've got my resin mixed up. All I need to do now is add my colour to this. And the great thing is, it does come with some tiny little spoons. The little baby spoon. Now, I don't want to put too much in because I don't want to be wasting this as I have no idea at the moment how much it will need. I've got 60 mil of resin, so I'm going to use one little spoonful in there. Tap all that off because like I said I don't want to be wasting any of this thermochromic powder and now all I'm going to do is give that a little bit of a stir in there and then I can see how well that has colored that resin and if it will need any more I want to make sure it's very well mixed in there I don't want any clumps or bits in it and it has mixed quite well although it is still quite transparent so I am going to pop in another teaspoon another teaspoon that's nowhere near a teaspoon another little spoon of this and mix that in Having never used it before, I've no idea what it's going to come out like or how it's going to cure or even if it's going to work. Who knows? We will find out together, people. I'm still a little bit transparent, but actually I'm quite happy with that because I will put a base colour over the backs of these coasters anyway. And now I'm going to fill up my pipettes and that's how I'm going to place it in. Hopefully I'm not going to mess this up and put it in the wrong colour. I do it so often. And always remember, whenever using a pipette, wipe it off first. Look, I nearly did it straight away then. I just nearly did it straight away. Can you believe that? After even just saying it. And all I'm doing is filling up each one of my little squares. You could do them all one colour if you wanted to. It'd be a lot less work. But I want to put a base colour under this as well. I'm going to go around and fill all of them up with this colour. And then I will go in and fill it all up with the other colour. And then let them cure overnight and finish them off. I want to say a massive thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. I really appreciate your membership. I hope you're enjoying it. I know the membership has grown really well. The Facebook group and all the additional stuff we do in the members is working brilliantly. And I hope everybody that won a prize in last month's competition is looking forward to getting their prizes. If you'd like to become a member, the link for that is in the description below. And also a massive thank you to everyone that got me a coffee last month as well. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. And now I, I like to call out people every now and again. So massive thank you to Emma Doodle. Thank you so much. And to Sue as well. And Anne. And everybody else that got me a coffee. And once they've all been done, I am going to go over and pop any bubbles that may have come out, fill up all the rest, and then I'll show you what they look like filled up. Well, I've got all those poured now. It didn't take too long at all. And actually, you can see where that one is starting to change colour where I've 
put it in there and the resin is starting to warm up and a little bit there as well so what i'll do is i'll leave these now to cure up completely and then i'm going to put my base color on and we can then look at them it's all cured overnight and i haven't been tempted to try and heat them up or do anything with them yet because i want to really save it so what i'm going to do is with a base coat i'm going to pour on the bottom of these using mica powder and i'm using a white mica powder this time which is unlike me i don't tend to go for white i normally tend to go for a black mica powder for a base but i think the white might be much better for seeing what these colors can do make sure that you give your mica powder a really good mix so you've got no lumpy bumpy bits in it and then pour your coasters and then when you're happy that you've got them poured, I'm going to fill this bit up here as well with the remainder of the resin. Leave them to cure now for probably, this resin takes about 12 hours to fully cure. And then once it's fully cured, I can show you what they look like. I'm really excited to see if, how well they're going to work as colour changing pieces. These are all finished curing now and they've been curing overnight. They're not going to be completely solid because you need to, for any coaster to leave it for about four weeks before you use them. And then they're fully cured. Oh, I love how that has come out. And having... And you can already see where I've been holding it, it started to change colour look. They're a lot more solid than I thought they would be. So far, I'm pleased with them. Let's take out its little holder. And I did this partly with the colours and partly with the white base because I thought it was important to have the same colours coming through. And then your coasters fit in there like that, which is a great way to be able to sell them, I think, as well. And you could easily get probably another three coasters in there. So if you want to do a larger set then you could do a larger set but this is what we really want to find out in it let's see about the color change so i'm going to put my hand over it and see if that changes the color oh and it's starting to look it really does change the color i'm so surprised that one there is the one i've been messing about with the least and look at the difference between the two so let's put something on there like that but could you imagine what it's gonna be like with a hot drink oh let's go and get one hang on a sec i'll go get one i know they're not fully cured but i want to try it with a hot drink so this is one of my favorite mugs it says i keep losing weight but it keeps finding me let's pop that on there that's just got hot water in it and even though these haven't been curing for long and they've not been curing for the four weeks that isn't going to do any damage to that resin whatsoever apart from maybe leave a little ring on it where it heats up and <laughs> look at that so you can definitely see where that cup has been because it's heated up that area and it's turned it yellow and pink and obviously that will go back to its natural color and this one i've been holding as well which is the base and that has gone to a nice yellow and pink as well it really does work look at the difference in them so i'm going to put my hand over this one and we can look at that as well in a second so i'm going to keep my hand over this one that's already starting to go back to its natural color and you can definitely see the difference now where i was holding that one against those colors oh look at that so again that's its second color and that's its other color i'm loving this they do come in a variety of colors so if you want to try and get hold of them i'll link them in the description below you get the orange that goes to yellow you get the purple that goes to pink the cyan which goes to a greeny yellow you get the violet which turns to blue and the dark green which turns to lime so excellent little range of colors not expensive at all i used hardly any of that in there to make those i am loving that i definitely think that will be going with me to a craft fair or somewhere very soon with a little price tag on it once they've been here in for the next four weeks please boot that like button if you found this video useful don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell as well links to everything in the description below and be sure to check out the video that i've got coming up next if you want to learn more about using resin and doing different techniques because i think you'll love this technique I am loving it. I'm loving this coaster mould and I'm loving these thermochromic powders. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.